Get off the sidelines and take control of your financial future at www.tackletrading.com. Get in the game. Okay, if all you've done is traded for the last year or 18 months, you're used to seeing the stock market move maybe a quarter percent a day, half a percent a day on a good day, right? A good move. Like that's that's been typical, right? So when you see the stock market do this and you say, Jim, any Christmas, we're moving 4% a day, that's like eight times more movement than what I'm used to. Okay, sometimes that happens. Sometimes that happens. And the way that we try to quantify or measure how much volatility we're seeing is with this VIX index. Okay, so I'm going to give you like a three-minute primer and tell you the, the key takeaways. So first of all, the spike that we saw in the VIX on, uh, was that Monday, was a record-setting spike. We've never seen a jump in the VIX like that before, not of that magnitude that quickly. So you and I got to witness history. Don't you feel lucky? You got a front row seat to see history this week. Biggest one-day spike in the VIX ever. We didn't even spike like this in the VIX in 2008 when the world was ending. Didn't even happen then. Okay, so it's, it's yeah, it's kind of cool, right, Bruno? We, we should give you guys T-shirts. Um, well, what does it mean? I'm going to talk about that here in a second. But if you go back and take out this recent uh, spike here, let me go to like a, uh, we go to like a three, you know, I want as a daily. Well, let's, let's try it. Let's try three-year weekly. No, I want five-year daily. All right. Let's just look at the last two years for a second, okay? especially last year. So so you might think that what happened this week is, is quite rare. It's kind of rare, but you know what's rare is what happened last year. The volatility being as low as it was for so long is really the rare, you know, kind of unique thing. If anything, we're kind of returning to normal now. Okay? Last year was not normal. One of the least volatile years on record. Everybody had been lulled to sleep. And so back then, you know, what was high last year for the VIX? Maybe 15, 16 was kind of a high reading, right? Uh, we obviously just blew that out of the water, right? We jumped up to 40 or 50, so completely new ball game. Uh, what does that mean? What does that mean? Well, let me give you some context, okay? Um, when the VIX, a VIX reading of 16 means that options are pricing in 1% daily moves are the norm, okay? Was that the norm the last couple of months, the last last year, were we seeing 1% daily moves in the stock market on average? The answer is no, not even close. We weren't really seeing 1% daily moves in the stock market. It was a lot lower than that, okay? If you get a VIX around 8, 8, 9, 10, that basically means options are pricing in about a half a percent daily move. We weren't even moving half a percent on an average day, okay? The stock market was moving maybe a quarter percent, right? So for 2017, the stock market probably moved around a quarter percent per day on average, okay? I mean, that was like typical. And so you see the market now moving 4% a day, and it's like, that's like 16 times what, we're, <laughs> what we've been used to. It's, it's, it's cuckoo land, okay? It's crazy. So what does a VIX of 32 mean? That's kind of where we're at right now. Well, if you get VIX readings around 32, that is pricing in 2% daily moves, okay? So with the VIX of 32, if that if we stay up here for a bit, you can expect to see 2% daily moves on average. Doesn't mean every day is going to move 2%, but that's that's the new norm. Okay? And so it's not as if the market is going to immediately go back to moving a quarter of 1% a day. This high volatility will probably stick around for a while. That should change your expectations a little bit. In case you're curious, a VIX of 48 Prices in 3% daily moves is the norm. And I'm talking about the S&P 500 here, folks. So when I say 2% or 1%, I'm talking about how much the S&P 500 will move. Okay. So do you think that the VIX gets up around 32 and stays there normally? 
it, like over the last 10 years, is it normal for the stock market to move 2% a day for, you know, month after month after month? No. And so typically this is a short-term phenomenon. There's a reason why the VIX doesn't usually go up to 48 and stay there. Because that would be insane. 